Hello and welcome. This is Khushbu Bhatta and today we will see how we can update Google Sheets from form responses automatically. Suppose you are working for a school or a college and you have to maintain details of the students who have paid their fees and ones who are yet to pay. So basically there are two ways of doing it. First, go to the George form, take all the details and update your Google Sheets manually. However, this can be a little time consuming. Second is the Pabli Smart way. Here we will connect George form with Google Sheets all using Pabli Connect. So what will happen is whenever your George form will receive a new response, it will automatically update your Google Sheets. Sounds good? Let's see how we do it. So let us see how we can connect George form with Google Sheets using Pabli. Go to Pabli's website. On the top right, you will see two options, sign in and sign up for free. Since I already I have an account here, I will just sign in. Go to Pabli Connect. Again on the top right, you will see a blue button with create workflow. Hit that. Name your workflow. I will just write jot form to Google Sheets. create okay so it will ask you it will show up two windows trigger window and action window trigger basically means when this happens an action is do this so what we want here is when an information when a jot form re uh, receives an information we want google sheet to reflect it so first let us click on trigger and write short form here trigger event would be new response the moment it receives your short form receives a new response you want to trigger an action so it will show up a webhook URL basically this URL um, connects the two applications let us copy this now go to now let's go to jot form click here so this was a this was a form that i had a simple form that i had prepared we will get into the details later first let us integrate click on settings on the left hand side you will see integrations go there write webhook search for that and it will show up this complete integration Okay, it is successful. Come back to Pabli Connects page. Okay, so here it is uh, showing waiting for webhook response. Now let us check if if the jot form is successfully integrated with Pabli. For that, let us go back to jot form. Quickly create our form. This was our form, right? Preview form. Okay, let us write a an admission number okay so first we have this uh, google sheet uh, spreadsheet we have the details of the students their admission number the fee status and the date on which the fee was paid we have all these information here but you can see raj shah that is the top row row two and the last row that is row seven the uh, fee status for these students is due that is yet they are yet to pay the fee so what we want to do is that the moment Rajshah's fee is paid, the moment uh, Jotform receives the fee submission response, we, we want Google Sheets to reflect that. Okay, so first let us just, sorry. So quick, uh, let us quickly note down this admission number that is 200120, 200120. The fee status paid submit now go to pabli's page and see if it is received the information yes it is all there fee submission status it's paid and everything else let us go to let us click on plus button go to google sheets click there Okay, it will ask for you 
for the action event click on look up spreadsheet rows so before we click let us see why what does look up option does this basically helps uh, give you a view of a single row or a column so let us click look up spreadsheet rows connect the two okay let me give yes the permission and authorization is successful now it will ask you for for few more details select spreadsheet we will select lakshya classes why because that's where the information of our students is so yeah now it will ask you for lookup column we will just write column sorry we will write column a now why we are writing column a because see column a is admission number here and and just writing column a will give you all the all its values now let us map the lookup value go to jot form response since we want yes we want this admission number let us click here okay then just save and send test request so you will see the details of raj shah is here that is we we had just written row a remember let me show you we had just written look up column a and all the values of column a So yes, you can see all the details of Raj Shah are here. The mail ID, admission number, fee status, which says due. We had just given the admission number here as the lookup value, and tracking that, it has given all the details of those of that admission number. Yeah. So click on Google Sheets. Here you will see fee status value. Yes, fee status. Click there. Equal to due. Yes. So now it will only keep an eye on students whose fee is due. Yeah. Let us save and send test request. Yes, success. Condition is true. Why? Because we are for now we are looking taking a look at row two. That is of Raj Shah status and his fee status is due. Therefore, it says condition is true. now click on plus button let's go to date and time for matter why along with the fee status being updated we also want the date of fee submission right so let us select current date here connect choose the format our format is date month and year so we will select date month and year save and send this request yes so today's date is 4 july the current date is this it is received again now this is the final step click on the window write google sheets again yes so what is the action that we want we want to update the rows the moment of uh, the fee submission response is received in your jot form we want google sheets to uh, reflect that information so we we want the row to get updated so we will go down down and select update row connect the two add new connection connect google sheets okay yeah i will select my account give the permission and it says authorization is successful so it will ask you for further details select spreadsheet we will select lakshya classes because that's where the information is oh, that's the sheet where we want the updates it will ask you for the row index so here we have to enter the row index that is to be updated so we have to update this row uh, raj shah's fee status so come on let's map here go to google sheets 
come down and response yes response result row index 2 because we have to update the second row yes let us straight away come down to fee status that's what we want uh, that's what we want to update so we'll map it from george forms click here then go down you will see fee status page yes this one click here just quickly select the fee submission date here we'll go to date time formatter click on this select the date and save and send test request now let us see if the if our spreadsheet google spreadsheet is updated and here you can see yeah this column was empty this fee submission date was empty because the status was due now rajsha has paid his fee and we can see the updated status here along with the fee submission date i hope that was helpful